James Song here for the DJAM YouTube channel after today's match day experience. I'm here with the match winner, Bart from Builderson, mate. First of all, I've, I've heard the celebrations in there. What a win, what a performance. How are you feeling at this moment? Look, words can't explain. They just can't explain. I was just saying to Suffer Cafe <coughs> six years ago, uh, the club was on the brink of folding, finishing the bottom, bottom of Division 2, but they got a reprieve because a couple of clubs folded. To go from there, we went up and then um, we gained a few players and I come into part of the management with me dad. Went and made a cup final, finished third, offered promotion, turned it down, then um, won the Junior Cup and come second the next year. We drew Ipswich Town last year at home in the first round of this, and regardless of whether we went out or not, it was amazing. To, I just can't explain how far the club's come, and mm. I'm lost for words. Like proud, I was reduced to tears on the pitch. Um, I think we could all see how much I meant to you at the end. Oh, mate, your celebrations, uh, like unbelievable. Yeah. Like little old club, middle of nowhere. It's hard to track players, punching away. Um, probably could say like a punching above our weight. But, mate, I can't, I can't, I'm lost for words. Like, yeah. Amazing. Like, so proud of the boys. So proud for the family because my family's been involved with the club for so long. Yeah. Um, and so proud for the village. It's just amazing. Like, unheard of. I remember when I was at Sudbury a few years back, I went out on loan to um, Witten. And uh, Witten made the final. And I went to the final with Witten but couldn't play because I played Premier Cup. But for little old Bilderstone, who were the SIL team, like Division 2, up to this is... Like I say, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. Just how much more impressive is it, considering <coughs> you guys went down to Ten Men during that game? I think it almost seemed to calm you down uh, going down to Ten Men. It was it was a very weird moment in the game in terms of what actually happened after that. You guys just seemed to you could tell the boys were playing on emotions. Right. But, um, we come with a plan, and because we come over and got spanked earlier on the season, and we changed our shape and all sorts after that game. Right. Here and uh, no res disrespect to, to their management. Here and Craig, on the, I listened to Craig on the radio um, the other day, saying, kept saying when we win and uh, who we're going to get in the next round when we win. Best best draw, Bilderson's the best draw possible at home. Here and all of that just spurred us on that little bit more. And yeah, uh, yeah so I think like, and I, I, I played it to the boys, and I said it to the boys, I re reiterated it to the boys two or three times, and. I think when when you then go down to ten men, yeah, it worked in our favour if anything because the boys then just, uh, we went us against the world. Yeah, thing. exactly. Yeah. So yeah. It, it, we f people were saying we're, I watched your show mm. and um, there was a lot of TRD people of fans of TRD. Whether they're fans or whether they're outside, had given it the TRD, they fancy TRD to definitely beat us and all that sort of thing just worked in our favour because yeah. what we lack in quality, we'll, we'll, we'll graft out always, you know. Yeah. And, I can't be more proud of yeah. what we've done, really. I, I, I'm, I'm going to ask a question. I know you probably just don't give a shit right now, but do I'm you not going to lie. I'm absolutely off my head on meds. <laughs> at half time, I, I took a load of codeine to get through because I've had a couple of bad injuries. Yeah. And at half time, I ran. I was tight, so I ran in, had a rub, and uh, took two more codeine. And at the end, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was dizzy. I went dizzy a couple of times. Thought I was going to pass out. So really? when I was shouting, I was. But yeah. Uh, Hence the fact that at the minute I still feel a bit like a bit wobbly, but yeah. do you, <laughs> had to get through. Do you, do you care who you have in the next round at this point? I mean, you probably just don't care. That, do you? Just I the don't fact care. that Bill is in the semi finals is look <sighs> enough. What we've done, even being in the quarter finals, probably people are saying we're punching well above our weight. We'll take anyone. Like, there's some great sides in there. I'm not going to say I'd rather have any of them because they're all, let's face it, the league above us, but yeah. um. Mate, I'll, I'll take anyone. Who we've got, you've got, to, you've got to beat them to win it anyway. So, yeah. I'll take anyone. Don't get me wrong. You'd love to have the weakest of them, and 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 prom well have more of a chance of getting to possibly Portman Road. But um, I'll, I'll take any of them. You know, like is what it is at the end of the day. It's what's what cups are all about, isn't it? Exactly. Underdog story, maybe. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Congratulations, mate. Enjoy the win, and uh, hopefully see you in the semi-finals. Well done. Thank you very much. Appreciate Cheers. that. If you have enjoyed today's video, remember to hit the thumbs up button, 
subscribe to the YouTube channel and turn the notification bell on so you are informed every time we release a video. If you would like to take that support one step further, you can do so by going over to ko-fi.com and making a one-off donation towards the channel, or you can go over to patreon.com and make a monthly donation towards the channel, select the tier that you want and you can cancel it at any time. Links for all of this and much more, including our merchandise for the Suffolk Non-League show are in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, adios.